Scotty Blocks is a channel for older teenage and adult fans and collectors. Videos may contain strong language and adult humour. Scotty Blocks is not made for kids. Hello and welcome to another Scotty Blocks video. Today we are looking at Playmobil, specifically the real Ghostbusters Egon Spengler with cage car. Set reference is 9386 and it contains 38 pieces. On the back of the box is an illustration of the contents. On the side we get the real Ghostbusters, how they appeared in the animated TV show. In fact the box itself looks like someone has played penalty shootouts with it. See the state of that. If I was wanting to keep this in the box for collecting purposes, I would send this back to Amazon for a refund. Okay, let's see what's inside the box. There's the main plastic body for the cage car. On the front, let's see if I can get it to show up on camera, there's some blue paint smudge or rub or something or other. Yeah, so we're not off to a very good start. One larger, one smaller bags of pieces. Some loose components. An instruction leaflet of seven pages. A rebrochure advertising different Playmobil ranges, which I will enjoy looking through later. And a sheet of 20, yes, count them, 20 stickers to apply. Ouch! Here are the pieces laid out. Four large wheels with real rubber tyres. A mechanism of some sort. I'm sure we'll be seeing more of that later. Three trans green studs. What is obviously the back of a proton pack, plus the proton stream and other various bits and pieces which will go into making up the car and the figures. Two figures come with the set. Firstly, an evil fairy. She has patterned printing on her face, pink hair and trans pink wings. Articulation is standard Playmobil figure. Waist, neck, arms and hands. On her head she gets a bowler hat. Whilst for weapons, she gets two clawed gauntlets. One. And two. This fairy won't leave a coin under your pillow in exchange for a tooth. She'll take all your fucking teeth and your head with them. Secondly, I present Egon Spengler. He's not meant to look like actor Harold Ramis from the movies, but like the cartoon Egon from the real Ghostbusters animated show. I'll put a picture up on screen so you can see what I mean. The Real Ghostbusters was a syndicated animation that ran for seven seasons between 1986 and 1991. The Real was added to the title to differentiate it from Filmation's Ghostbusters animation, which had nothing to do with the movies, but Filmation owned the rights to the Ghostbusters name. I won't go into details here because I plan on making a more in-depth video on the subject sometime in the future. Looking at the printing on Egon, on his right shoulder is the Ghostbusters logo. Not the neatest of applications though. On his face are his trademark red spectacles. Some equipment hangs from his belt. And unfortunately, on his lower back are the trademark and copyright symbols, which spoil the overall look in my opinion. Now let's look at Egon's equipment. Of course he gets a proton pack. The details on the proton pack are printed rather than stickers. The neutrino wand slots in the hole at the top here for storage. A yellow plastic hose connects the two. Uh, Egon wears it via a clip which goes around his neck. There we go. When he's ready to bust a ghost, all you need to do is put this printed proton stream on the end of the Neutrino wand. And there we go. 
Once the ghost is caught in the proton stream, you need a ghost trap. A yellow plastic hose connects the activation handle with the trap itself. You can open the trap doors. There we go. A sticker inside there. And when the ghost has been sucked in, close the doors again. All details on the trap are stickers. There's no printing here. And of course, every Ghostbuster needs a PKE meter. I wish they'd given us printing on the PKE meter and ghost trap like they had on the proton pack, but again, this is just a sticker. This is the cage car. All details are stickers, apart from the scratch marks on the cage, which is obviously where the claws of the evil fairy have done their work. The scratch details are continued on the stickers here, plus on the other side. Access to the cab is gained by lifting up the cage section. There are two plastic joysticks for controls and Egon or another figure can be sat inside his hands, clip onto the joysticks and you simply lower the cage again. It clips back in place. On the rear of the vehicle, a panel can be lowered and raised. This is to give Egon somewhere to store his equipment. The front bull bars can also be lowered and raised. For its main weapon, the car gets a rather incongruous looking disc shooter. This clips onto one of the bars. It can be raised and lowered and turned 360 degrees. There are three discs in the shooter and these fire off in sequence, one, two, three. Whilst the car isn't based on an actual vehicle from the show, it does capture the spirit, no pun intended, of the Kenner Real Ghostbuster toys. So should you buy this? If you collect Ghostbusters memorabilia, yes. If you liked the Real Ghostbusters, yes. If you collect Playmobil, yes. I get such a nostalgia rush from this toy, even though it was only released in 2018. And that sums up its appeal. I bought this last year from Amazon UK for about £12, but I've not seen it in any stores. Thanks for watching. If you have enjoyed this video, please leave a like, it only takes a second. If you are new to my channel, please sub. New and existing subscribers are recommended to set the bell icon to receive all notifications so you do not miss out on new content. You can also follow me on Instagram at scotty underscore blocks. I will leave you now with links to some more of my videos, plus an icon you can click to sub. If you are after further viewing, please check out the channels that I am subbed to, you will not be disappointed. I will see you again when I can with another Scotty Blocks video.